Now, <laughs> I did say I was never going to um, re-record these. Um, I was always going to post them no matter what uh, condition they were in. And uh, but I'm lying actually because I've actually I actually did one over there and I quite I quite liked it and I'm quite pleased with it. It was about equality and equality when it suits. And but I uploaded it and the quality was so bad the lip sync was out and um, everything was rubbish. So I'm gonna I'm doing it again but I'm doing it from a different phone now. This is from my old Samsung S8. So yeah, um, I'm I'm just actually what's just reminding me is I'm just watching. The World Cup, England, um, it's the England Cricket World Cup. And it's about this equality. Now, if anybody knows me, really knows me, I mean, forget about the bravado that I put on and, you know, I like to take the piss and, oh, can't swear, it's Ferrari and Alfie. Sorry, I forgot for a minute. Because um, I like to take the mickey a little bit. Um, you know, a lot of people perhaps looking on might think, oh, I might be this and I might be that. But I'm the least sexist person in the world. I actually, uh, I like women. <laughs> I love women, in fact. Um, so, um, but there's this big thing at the minute. Bring them on. I'm, I'm leaving these for you, Harry, and for you, Alfie, so you can look back in the future. So, your grand, you might think, God, he always looks knackered. Today is Wednesday. Uh, no, today is Thursday, May the 30th, and I've got a day off. I've said that I'm having a day off, but I'm doing my studio, and I've got to get it right for my tattoo removal thing and everything. So, I've got loads to do. So, it's a day off, but oh, it's a working day off. But yeah, um, what's reminding me is now there's this massive equality thing now. So they've got women on everything, right? So it don't matter if it's football. They've now got women pundits on there. They've got women commentators. I'm just watching the cricket here. It's over to a woman now. She's commentating and stuff. Now, probably in the future, you're going to be so used to this. It's going to be so totally the norm. But what I saw a programme once by this guy. I'm, I'm running out of time, so I'm going to talk quick because I've waffled a bit too much. But there's a guy who I actually wrongly thought was a bit of a lefty, a bit of a liberal type. And, and he's on a TV programme. I couldn't have been more wrong. I've seen this interview with him and he was saying, trouble with society today, and this interview was like 10 years ago, and he was saying, trouble with society today, they don't want men to be men. Like, we, you know, it's tribal. You know, we, we like to do blokey things and do blokey things together. That don't mean we don't want to mix and do other things as well, but just occasionally, we've got to do blokey stuff and let's do it together. Like football, you know, there's a lot, a lot of my mates are football lads and they like to go down the football together, have a few beers, you know, wind up the away fans, blah, blah, blah. There ain't nothing wrong with that. In fact, it's needed for society. Think about any other animal species in the world. What other animal species behaves like us and promotes the things that we promote? All this gender fluid nonsense and, and all this, um, I want to identify as a teapot. That's fine, you're a teapot today. The world has gone absolutely mad. You can almost identify as anything you want and it's okay. But, I mean, I'm watching this now and you've got, I mean, it's not against the woman. Can you hear her? Jason Roy. I mean, it's just so blatant she's there because she's a woman. I'd be embarrassed. You know, if there was a big campaign that we've got to have more Tony Roys um, in society promoted to the top jobs, and it, oh, uh, we've gone through the, diction through the dictionary, through the directory, and we see your name, your Tony Roy. Like, so we're going to promote you to an MD or some organisation. I'd be offended by that because I know I'm not there on merit. It's a bloke sport. Let blokes commentate on it. Let us blokes be blokes. I mean, God, you know what I mean? What are you trying to turn us all into sissies for? And that's another thing. We are being turned into sissies. You come out with a blokey attitude, doing a blokey thing, doing something proper blokey, and you're an extremist. You're an old school. You're, dinos you're a dinosaur. Well, I'll tell you something. What goes around comes around. Be careful what you wish for. Because, you know, when it all kicks off and you want blokes to be blokes. I mean, there's a thing on the ar about the army recruitment thing now. If you, if you actually say anything about being patriotic, being in the army, and saying that, uh, may, make any political comments on social media, you're out of the army. I mean, oh my God, how scary is this where it's all going? Anyway, I can see it's on 407. I could rant about this forever. But anyway, looking in the future, looking back, bearing in mind this is where it all started. This is the decay. This is where it's all starting. Now, there is a few of us that are fighting it from within and like having a little chip away. But I'm listening to this woman commentating now, it just makes me want to turn it off. I mean, I mean, is that wrong? But it's not just me. I mean, my mum works in horse racing and she mentioned it ages ago about women getting jobs in horse racing, doing this, doing that. And there's I mean, lots of other people doing it. It's not just us blokes moaning about it. There are actually some women out there just saying, yeah, I actually know a woman as well who's in business. And she said she wouldn't employ any young women. She says, because she's such a small business, if they ever came in, had a baby and went off, it'd cripple a business, so she only employs men. So there are some people out there. Now, I know that's a little bit of an extreme um, example, but I am quoting verbatim, and that's Latin in case you were wondering. I'm actually quoting that verbatim. So, 
World's gone mad. This could be a rant that could go on and on and on and on and on. But anyway, it's five minutes, my longest one yet. I actually said that on the one I deleted that this was the longest one yet. But let blokes be blokes. That's a message. You know what I mean? Let us be blokes. Don't turn us into sissies. Ciao.